Today, we'll learn the basics of Canva, a great alternative online resource to Photoshop and other photo and graphic editing apps. After you've made an account, your page may look something like this. To start a new project, you can go to the left side of the screen and click Templates. From here, you can choose from a wide variety of options to start from. Clicking one of these will give you pre-made designs from various artists. You can take out and replace certain elements from these templates and customize them to make them your own. Alternatively, to start a new project, you can also go to the top right corner and click Create a Design. From the drop-down menu that appears, click Custom Size on the bottom. In the new window that appears, enter how big or small you want your project to be. Starting from a blank canvas can be a little scary, so we'll start with a template. As I hover my mouse around the page, we can see a lot of boxes that show up around certain shapes and text. These are all individual elements that can be edited. On these boxes, there are four circles on each point, which can be clicked and dragged to resize. Clicking and dragging on these boxes will reposition the element and clicking and dragging the arrows below the boxes will rotate the element. Press Ctrl Z or Command Z on the Mac to undo your last action. Colors can be accessed and edited by clicking on the element and clicking the top left corner. To add your own image, click the Uploads tab on the left. Now drag any picture from your files and drop it into the gray area as shown. After uploading, you can click and drag your file onto the project. From here, you can resize the image as you like and even arrange the layering of the project. To push your image into the background or pull it forward, click on the element and click the three dots labeled as More. From here, you have options like Send Backward and Bring Forward. So, with what we've learned so far, let's try making a quick poster. When you're happy with your creation, you can go to the file and press Save. To download your project as an image, go to the top left and click Share. Then click on the Download option. Canva is a very powerful resource and provides tons of room to express your individuality. Try experimenting with different elements and get creative. This tutorial was brought to you by Westside Media Project and Storyline Studio.